All right, so uh, today, new video. My cousin Abraham has this, what year is it? 86. 86, C10. Uh, it's on, I don't know what, here, come explain, I don't know, I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> 24 by 15, intro wheels, reverse lip, 22's in the front. Got air suspension done by Drops R Us, one of our club members. Um, it's got a 383 stroker. And uh, it's got a bad tranny, so it's time to swap it. And we're putting in uh, a used one for now. Because <laughs> uh, we're doing a swap. We're doing a crunch, yeah, crunch, uh, video shoot crunch. They use this truck in music videos every now and then, and they got to use this truck in a music video coming up, so we don't have time to build one for him. So we're just going to swap a rebuilt one, supposedly. Is it rebuilt or what? That's what they said. We'll find out. So we're gonna get the transmission. Uh, we're gonna get the transmission off the truck, the original one. It's a turbo 350, right? 400. Turbo 400. And then we're gonna use a converter out of the turbo 400 because this one had water in it because it sat outside. Um, it's the same transmission, so we're just gonna swap the converter. Uh, use the same converter and swap the transmission, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully it'll run. So it's we'll his first see, time. We'll it's see. his first time doing a pull on a transmission. So we'll see how long he takes. I know I can probably do this one in like two, three hours, but it'll probably take him till one in the morning. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Especially if we're drinking, right? Might yeah. take a little longer. Let's do it. <gasps> hey, watch that fall on huh? the video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like the like that picture of the suburban that flipped it's upside like down, tumble, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lower it down. So lock it. I've never even seen this truck too. Yeah. As well. Right there. Like that? Yeah. It's pretty clean underneath. What you the? Don't. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Why is it? Why is it like this right now? Because uh, the wheels are off the ground. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that's not good. It shouldn't touch either way. Yeah. I've been wanting to take that off anyways. I can see what's up with this tranny. It's fairly easy. See? Yeah. Take these off. Take this. You, you don't even gotta take the starter off. No? Nope. So while he works on that, I'm gonna start editing the video for this uh, build that we're doing on this LS3 truck. Just an update, I got the engine completely torn apart down to the uh, pistons, I guess, um, and the pan. I didn't take the pistons out though, obviously they're still in there. But we're gonna do a cam swap, we're gonna reuse the lifters, obviously I have the lifters soaking in here, just for, you know, just so they can be soaked while, the, while we wait for the parts. So, or while we wait for the build. Heads are going to be ported, cams going to be changed out for a custom grind cam. Rocker arms are going to be the same, push rods are going to get hardened push rods, going to get the uh, timing chain from Rollmaster. We might use this intake or we might put the truck intake on it, we have to see first which one's going to be better for his application because he does tow a RV. And then we're going to switch out this pump for a Melling oil pump, water pump's going to get the truck oil pump, all this is going to be painted teal. And we might even end up painting the engine block teal as well because it's already pretty much all cleaned up. Um, so it makes it, the whole process a lot easier. And I'd rather do this. I mean, this is way funner than doing like taking apart an engine from like a truck that's already used because you got to wash everything and you know, it's, this is a lot easier cleanup process. And actually, these heads uh, come with the uh, blue springs, which is kind of cool. I've never personally seen these blue springs, but. I've uh, they're a little they're a little bit t uh, they're a little bit stiffer than the OEM springs, but I think those are, I'm not I'm not sure what springs those are out of. Uh, comment down below. I don't I'm not up to date on that, but I usually just put the the du the dual springs, which is what this is gonna get dual springs with titanium retainers and the clips and all that. Yeah, well we gotta take it off. <laughs> oh. But be careful, because then it might just fall on your face, all the oil. So, so crack it open with the flash leave two, on. leave four on. All right, so we ran into a bit of an issue. He didn't know. I told him a long time ago that this transmission was a 700R4, but he didn't believe me because, like, it never had overdrive. Well, it never had overdrive because he never had the, what's that cable called? The kickback, the kickback switch or cable for the carburetor. And I told him, I'm like, that transmission looks different than the one you brought. That's a Turbo 400, that's a 700R4. So, um, what's the plan now? I guess we're going to have to swap this. We're going to have to LS swap it. 
or LT swap it, whichever whichever route is cheaper or more affordable or better in the long run. That's what I would do. In the meantime, like do some research. What like would be like the more cost effective in the future? Um, well, it is what it is. Time to spend money. That's all. That's all I know. Yeah, time to spend some money on this truck. I was telling you, you could probably sell the wheels and I mean not the wheels. I mean you can, fuck you. You can sell the wheels too. You can sell the engine and the trans for like a K, one grand. Go buy a scratch off. Maybe you'll win some money. That's a good idea. I was telling him he should sell the wheels off his truck. What, what wheels do you have in your truck? Which one? That one over there? Twenty six by fourteen? Yeah, twenty six by fourteen fuel forged. Nimola. I'm drink beer. Here's the Camaro we're going to be doing a build on as well. It's an LS3 Camaro, same engine. That's This engine is the exact same engine that I'm building here, except this one has zero miles and that one has 22,000 miles, I believe. And it's basically fairly stock. It has a uh, Haltech carbon fiber cold air intake, long tube headers, which are a little rusty, with cats. I might remove the cats. And we're gonna do a, a full cam kit, high pressure pump, stuff like that on this car. So, big plans for this car as well. Gonna have a full video, like I said before, for that build. I mean, you guys can check out what I do to it. So, yeah, let's get a. We're gonna get this truck down and pushed out, and we are gonna bring in the white single cab I am doing a swap on. I can show you it right now. RIP bank account. Fuck you. <laughs> You should have kept Blackie. That bitch is going out too. Really? Transmission? Didn't you drive it? Oh you yeah. The last one who actually yeah. drove it. Yeah, I did. Got the truck pulled out. You can see it's out there. Transmission was the wrong one. Now we're gonna install the transmission on this truck. Give you a little look underneath it. This is the transmission for it. It's our stage two, 4L65E with the uh, obviously a high stock converter. And it has our high rev kit in it, so engines that rev past like 6,000 RPM will get our high rev kit. Pretty much every LS that has a cam revs up past 6,000 RPM. So that's because that's where the power is made, you know. Although some people do rev up their stock cams past 6 gram, but there's really no point in doing that because you really gain nothing besides maybe like 5 horsepower. But here is the engine. I got to throw the flywheel on. I already got everything done back here, rear main seals on, the engine's completely built, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the transmission in. Alright, went ahead and got the transmission installed, all belt housing bolts are on, shifter cables on, everything's torqued down, tightened up. I just got to put the uh, little 13 millimeter nut that goes on the, uh, what's it called? I got to put the 13 millimeter nut that goes on the dipstick tube. As well, I gotta run the harness still and put the cooler lines up to the transmission and obviously the cross member. But it's pretty much done. I mean, everything out of the way, like tor torque converter is all done and bolted up. Bell housing's done. All the major stuff is already done. It looks pretty clean. Gonna be a really nice setup for this truck. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down and start working on the harness and stuff on the engine side. As you can see, it's all built. It's a little rusty though, because I it did sit outside one day and it, it was humid, re really humid that day, and the block got a little rusty, but that's fine. So next up, uh, as you can see, I got some of the wiring already done here, and all the passenger side wiring harness is already over here. We'll just go to the O2 sensors. Some of these connectors go down to the trans. I think the trans connector is uh, somewhere down here. Oh, it's right there. Or not. Actually, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I gotta find it. Okay, so a little update on the build. I am currently installing the headers and the Y pipe, but we ran into an issue where the Y pipe doesn't really align. I'm looking for my light right now. But the Y pipe really doesn't align too well. No, well, it doesn't align at all with the headers that are on the truck, which are for that Y pipe. And if you remember in a previous video, I mentioned that I was kind of scared if they were gonna fit. I know what brand these headers are, we'll see how they fit up. I'm still kind of concerned if they're gonna fit or not. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see, he, got, he said he got them from Summit Racing, so 
we'll see how they how they fit up and then the harness now the placement on the headers fit pretty good the Y pipe just doesn't fit at all it, it hits the frame or the cross member section and then it's like off by like two inches so don't buy headers from pace header I mean the headers fit good but the Y pipe doesn't fit unless you have time to adjust it but yeah if you want a set of headers that are going to bolt right up, Speed Engineering or Texas Speed is going to be the way to go. I haven't tested a whole lot of I haven't tested a whole lot of other header brands, but I just tested these Pace headers and they didn't really fit that well. They're like they have like that chrome finish, like the I don't know what the coating is called, but I mean they look somewhat nice, but I don't know how long it's going to last either. But I wanted to show you, but I can't find my light. I guess I have to use my phone light. So you can see here are the, so you can see here are the headers. They're real, they fit up pretty good. They're not touching the frame or anything. But right here, I had to uh, cut a section off of this piece, and I had to cut a section off of this piece. You can see right here where I cut it, right in the back, right there. And even then, it's still gonna hit a little bit on the frame, right there. But when you lift it up. I can set this up properly. When you lift it up, it's not gonna hit. So hopefully once everything's bolted up, it won't hit. But I'm gonna add a hanger either way to lift it up. And then so I might have to see, it might hit the cross member here. So we might have to hammer it out a little bit. But I'm gonna test fit the cross member right now and make sure it doesn't hit. All right, so I went ahead and got this side welded up. So that, um, I don't know how I changed the placement on it, I think I moved it a little bit to the right. Uh, but I cut it there and I put it back where it was, but I had to move this pipe around. And I think I'm going to undo these welds, these little tack welds I had just for placement purposes. And I think I'm just going to put a clamp here because I could not get this section off without beating it with a hammer on this side. Just the way this elbow is designed here, it's too long. So I'm just going to put a clamp on this side once I get it up in the truck. But that's the only section I'm going to weld and everything else is going to be clamped. So it's going to be a clamp there on the headers, both sides, clamp in the center section, and possibly a clamp on the back section or I can just tack weld it um, with a clamp. So I'm going to throw this back in, I'm going to cut these welds off, throw it back in, get it bolted up, and hopefully it fits. I already tested the cross member and it, does, it barely, barely skims, or actually it's even, it's even the fitment on the, on the Y-pipe to the cross member is better than the cross member to the frame because the frame it almost touches on the cross member it has like probably like an inch of clearance okay so it is currently like 12 at night and I'm tired and I want to go home so I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow obviously it might be in this same video I think it's still gonna be the same video I don't think this video is too long yet but who knows <laughs> I'm gonna so tomorrow I am going to finish, I got the exhaust fully connected, my bad, I got the exhaust fully connected, I still have to put the, there's a little uh, section on the back that has like two bolts that connect up to the original exhaust that the truck would have had, but it doesn't have that, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to dump it here with dual tips, which would be the cheapest route and honestly the coolest route, I think that uh, dump tips right there, or tips coming out to the side look so good right there, and... Oh, there was a flywheel for the truck. I was looking for it. Well, I put a different one on, so it's fine. <laughs> so, I got the exhaust up, or the header, the, I got the headers already on. Tomorrow, I'm going to keep working on the harness, and I have to figure out what we're going to do about the intake, because the truck doesn't have one. It just has a throttle body, and it needs the intake for the math and all that stuff and the readings. And then, as well, I need to get radiator hoses for it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday, but... I'm going to work on it because I have nothing else better to do, especially with this Corona stuff. <laughs> so, oh, oh, and I painted the water pump. I had like, so this engine didn't come with a water pump, but I had like a bunch of spare water pumps that I've replaced off other vehicles where the customers want a new water pump. Although this guy didn't want to buy a new water pump, uh, I have a bunch of good used ones. So I picked this one, which was the best one out of the batch, and I painted it black and used clear coat. I'm going to let it sit overnight, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to get that water pump on. That way I can get the radiator hoses on. And as well, tomorrow I also got to buy the cooler lines for the transmission and put a transmission cooler on it because obviously with the high stall converter or torque converter, it creates more heat, 
and heat in Texas don't go together in transmissions. So we're going to get that uh, settled in tomorrow. I still got to put the AC system on the truck. As you can see the condenser right here is just disconnected. I took the AC lines off. Obviously the V6 AC lines and the V8 AC lines are different because the compressor is located in a different spot. The V6 compressor is up here and the V8 compressor is down there by the starter or in front of the passenger side mount. And I have to get it recharged and I don't have an AC machine but the shop across the street has one and I got it discharged at the shop over there so I'm just going to get it recharged over there because they have my Freon. In theory, they have my Freon, but I'm sure they already use it in another in another vehicle. And then, obviously, belts, stuff like that, small miscellaneous stuff. I have a set of plugs I'm going to put in it, uh, the AC Delco Iridiums, which are the best ones to put in these vehicles, and then the wires. And I also have to get a different uh, set of coil packs, because for some reason, the other side disappeared. I don't know where it went, but it's just not there. And I looked everywhere around the shop, and I can't find one, so I'm just going to have to steal one off. Uh, probably my truck. I have a, I think they should be the same, but I have a Gen 3 uh, Silverado, which I'm going to do a, a Gen 4 engine swap on, and I'm just going to steal the packs off that one. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end off the video here. If you guys like the video, obviously hit the like button. If you guys want to see more content, subscribe. If you guys didn't like the video, dislike it. You know, let me know what I can do different. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.